NASA's just launched a five and a half year long journey to one of Jupiter's moons, Europa, in the hopes of answering one of the universe's biggest questions. One, we have had liftoff. Is there life beyond Earth? That's the question this probe is hoping to answer. Clipper is going to tell us if Europa has all of these ingredients for life. Taking off last night from Cape Canaveral in Florida, NASA's Clipper probe will now travel more than 2.8 billion kilometres to a moon called Europa, which is orbiting around Jupiter. Europa is very icy. But underneath all that ice, scientists reckon there might be an ocean of liquid water where tiny microorganisms might be living. The Clipper probe is NASA's largest ever planetary spacecraft and will take more than five years to actually get there. But when it does, it'll do flybys of Europa and scan its surface, collect dust particles, and fly through what NASA reckons is plumes of water shooting 100 kilometres out of the surface. And I'm really proud that as humanity that we choose to undertake these difficult and long-term goals, things like exploring the unknown out of Jupiter. The latest Food Bank Hunger Report has found that millions of Aussie households are struggling to put food on the table. The report found 3.4 million households were experiencing food insecurity, and about 2 million of them were experiencing severe food insecurity. That means they've skipped meals or eaten less because they couldn't afford food. This is 5% up on last year, and it's actually the highest rate of food insecurity in low-income households since the cost of living crisis commenced. The report has prompted calls for the government to increase unemployment payments to better help families on low incomes. Oh, wow. It's time to get your binoculars out because the Aussie bird count is in full swing. Justina caught up with 13-year-old Spencer to find out all about it. How are you today, Spencer? Justina, yeah, good, thank you. Can you tell us what Aussie bird count is all about? The Aussie bird count is run by BirdLife Australia, helping citizen scientists around Australia to get outside in their backyards or any local habitat that has birds and record their observations for a 20-minute survey. So can you tell us why Aussie bird count is so important? It gives us the data that we need to inform science, to study these birds better and actually protect their habitat. How can we all get involved in Aussie Bird Count? We can all go and download the Aussie Bird Count app. You just have to log in and it's really easy and there's even a bird ID key so you can know what bird it is even though you're not a professional bird identifier. What bird won last year? The Rainbow Lorikeet and it has been for the past 10 years that the Aussie Bird Count's been running. Do you have any predictions on who might win this year? Probably going to be the Rainbow Lorikeet but who knows, we'll have to find out. Now it's time for some stories that'll make you go, oh, is that right? Oh yes, it is. <laughs> Thanks, Josh. <laughs> First up to California in the US, where these kids are doing a spot of galactic gardening. Inside this pot plant is a special tree that was grown with seeds that have flown around the moon on a spaceship. So our particular moon tree went on the Artemis One mission and it went uh, 1.4 million miles in space. I've always wanted to go to space, but this, is, this motivates it even more. Now to Cuba, where athlete Eric Hernandez is attempting to break the world record for the most soccer ball touches in an hour. He managed to bounce the ball on his head, oh, uh, and his feet, 13,985 times, smashing the previous record of 11.9 thousand. And finally, to Nigeria, where one small town has put on a special festival celebrating twins. The five-day event is all about celebrating the special bond between twins. And while traditionally it was thought that eating okra leaf and amala was the secret to having twins, recent studies point to genetics as being the main reason why. Well, that's all from us today. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Hello. Hello. Uh, oh.